Good afternoon. Today I'm on Lake Superior in Wisconsin. I tried to find time to film a couple of reviews and I have not had time, mainly due to yesterday and most of today being foggy, rainy, and just plain miserable up on the North Shore. Now it was nice, I got to see fog lighthouses and all the fun stuff, then you really get to see why they're useful, you know, during the high fog like that. Even though they're not used anymore for what their intended purpose was due to the advent of radar. But nonetheless, it's neat to go see the old lighthouses. I've seen two of them. Uh, the Apostle Islands are kind of out in there a little bit, and there's even more over that direction. Then if you look over here, which you will not be able to see because my camera is not strong enough to pick that up, you can see the North Shore over there in Minnesota. So anyway, today what I'm here to try for you guys is Koval Single Barrel. Hope you guys are getting that. Bourbon whiskey, distilled in Chicago, 47% alcohol by volume. It's a 200 mil. I got the three pack, taster pack. So this is going to be a first tasting as I go through it. This is not, a, not any experience with this at all. It's from barrel number 2I1JK9. So we'll get her open and see what we get here. This ought to be interesting. We're up here on the Great Lakes and Chicago's on Lake Michigan, so it's a good distillery to kind of do this with, I think. Well, plastic cork. Now, mostly everybody is going to think, you know, like I do, a single barrel should be more higher in proof, not just 47%. And I'm not sure how they do things in Chicago. If we get a chance and we go back through that way, maybe get a chance to distill a distillery. Went through a brewery today, which was pretty neat. Very light apples. Oh, and this is a light, sharp nose. Not deep and intense. So I think... The youth is kind of giving away a little bit here. Do not know the mash bill. Under four years is all it says for age. <clears throat> it is organic, certified organic. Oh, it's real sharp on the nose. Tart apples, very tart apples. Cedar, definitely cedar. It might get better as it opens a little bit more. This might be something we try later. Again. There is a backed up corn sweetness there. It's very light. Almost marshmallow. And the wind's blowing, so we're having a good movement on the on what I'm getting off of this glass. I'm turning like this, so hopefully protecting the mic somewhat. It's a little bit of a phenolic note in it. Like when you cut a phenolic, a plate of phenolic with a saw, a slight phenolic burn note. It's not burnt, but it's that lingering smell that just kind of sticks in the air. Borderline nail polish. Just borderline. There's enough sweetness to kind of overcompensate that, but that is definitely that phenolic kind of leaking into nail polish. Very grainy. 
Get the corn. Oh, you get the corn. <clears throat> get the barley, too. That barley sweetness is coming through. Pretty sure it's barley. If not, the wheat was done well. Like I said, I do not know the mash bill. Rich, you do get the proof a little bit, but it's not overly bad like it is on the nose. Mm. Lingers on the lips very well. It is sharp, very sharp in the delivery. Fairly short in the finish. We're done. We are done. Still getting the cedar. Starting to go sour, not bitter, but sour. Sour tart apples. It's not tart really anymore. It's more sour than anything. Getting that barrel wood. That cedar is still there, that cedar note. Metallic almost like a metallic cedar note coming across very distinctly. Short finish. The sour kind of overtakes the sweetness. The sweetness is still there. If that sourness lingering at the tail end of the palate, just at the beginning through the what finish you do get, kind of overrides that. Kind of makes it kind of, that favorite word I like to use, wonky. <laughs> kind of gives that kind of wonky feeling to it. It's not, it's not very well balanced. Starts off so, but it does not finish. There's just something that keeps lingering around there. Very sour. Sour apple. What was a tart apple on the nose is very sour. Almost a sour nutty note to it as well. It's first impressions. We're going to give it a chance to do this and maybe do it alive with the other two in the thing. For now, since this is totally off the cuff, the score I have to give this, it's not undrinkable, but it's not something that I would ever buy. If this does not improve in this little bottle, it's something I would never buy a 750 of. If somebody offered it to me and I was in the mood, I would could possibly try it again, but slightly, I don't know. As it sets right now, I, I give it a 78, a 78 out of 100. It's, it's just not overwhelming me for what I think a single barrel should be. Not at all. I think they used the little barrels there too, which should have helped more than this. Let's, we'll monitor and see how it improves. If I get a better improvement, I'll do it on a live stream with its two siblings, and we'll see how it goes. With that, I'm going to sign off and let you all get a good view of Lake Superior. It's my first time of ever being here, so I'm enjoying my time driving around it and experiencing it. It's really, it's really been a wonderful time. We're getting some sunshine through these clouds. That's, that's nice. <laughs> Trust me, that's really nice. Everyone... Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll talk to y'all later. Remember the spirit in your glass ain't running from you. Take your time, sip, and enjoy it. You'll be better for it.
It's just not winning me. Not at all. Maybe water would have helped. Don't know now. See y'all later.